two games under your belt, two wins. How do you feel uh, about the start of the season so far? I feel like we're playing with great intensity, and we understand that it's our chance to go get it now, and the whole team know that, and we're we going to keep fighting. Got things to fix, we're going to fix them, but for the most part, we we showing the toughness that I don't think we showed in a long time. And it comes down to Friday night. I mean, two of the three teams that are undefeated in conference going head-to-head. -head. I think Coach, he started it off right by saying this is championship week. Is that how you guys are looking at it? Well, yeah, in a way, but I look at every week like a championship week, and so do our, our best players. And I feel like if we play hard every week, our team will follow behind us. So I'm not going to prepare any different for this week. Uh, we're going to keep playing hard and practice hard like we always do. And if we do that Friday night, we should take care of business every single week. Well, the scoreboard's been getting quite a workout the first two weeks from you guys, scoring 50 points in the first two games. What's been working? Well, we're just getting the ball to athletes. You know, some games we throw it for more, other games we run a lot. We got a lot of athletes. And I feel like this year we do a great job of giving them the ball, and everyone's unselfish. You know, receivers block hard every play downfield. No matter who gets the ball, if they don't get the ball, they block hard, knock out blows, and send guys for touchdowns. How much did last season help? I mean, you guys go 8-3. and three. Does it just give you a renewed sense of confidence that you, now you come into Friday nights expecting to win? Well, yeah, and it's a difference because last year, I don't think we even really expected ourselves. We just played and it happened. This year, we, we expected, you know, to go out, we beat a team, and then that team beat us in section to go to semi-state. That really woke us because we was upset about that, knowing that we could potentially be in that situation. So now we just we going to work harder and understand. We think about that because now it's our time, and we're just going to keep working on it. And last year, of course, was about stopping the streak, which you guys did successfully. So now is it about continuing the good streak? Oh, yeah. It's just about keep scoring. Keep scoring points, get better on defense, get better on offense. We're going to keep playing. We understand the Wangers still a good team. No matter what people say, no matter what we've seen, we know they're a great team. And to prove ourselves, you know, we beat Concordia, who's on the uprise, and a good Hunter North team. But to really open people's eyes, we need to beat teams like the Wangers, Snyder, and Lures. So we always got to keep that mindset in, in our heads. Is it hard at all as a player to kind of look and see, you know, the scores of the first two weeks? And Dwanger, you know, they're not overpowering anybody. They're getting wins, but they don't come across as the Dwanger of old. Is it tough for you guys to, to realize, you know, it's still a Dwanger football team? No, I don't think so at all. Because at the end of the day, we got the wins, but we didn't reach any goals, you know. That win last week and week before that doesn't determine us as SAC champs or sectional champs. So we still got to keep preparing every week as if, it's over. You know, we got to go one week at a time. And so the winger, they win, and that's all that matters. They 2-0, we 2-0, and they're going to be ready to play. They love that streak, and we stopped it, and they're going to come back and prove that Northside can't compete with them. And it's our job to go out there and show them that we can. So what do you think it's going to come down to Friday night? The better offense, we're going to score points on offense regardless. The best defense to step up, it's going to be a good game. But the person who makes the big plays, the team that come out on fire, you know, intensity, starters, players, the key guys got to come out with fire and intensity and want to get the win. You can't come out satisfied or feeling like you're already the best. We're going to go in that game like we haven't won anything, just as we do every week, and get the job done.